The question seems straightforward enough. Are you a U.S. citizen? And for the first time ever, the U.S. government wants to force everyone to answer that question on the 2020 U.S. Census. But Yatsiri Tovar is not a citizen and is worried about answering it. The Trump administration has showed me not to trust them. The 26-year-old was brought to the U.S. illegally by her parents when she was just two years old. And even though she's lived in New York all of her life since then, she's worried a no answer could make her a target for deportation. It's happened before and in her neighborhood. People have put up signs on the doors cautioning immigration officers, known as ICE agents, not to enter without a judicial warrant. So the fear is real? The fear in our communities is real. I fill it out as being an undocumented person. I can be targeted. I can have um, agents outside of my house because in the census I said I am undocumented and I gave them my apartment number. But at a congressional hearing last month, Republican lawmakers said they supported the idea of asking everybody if they are a citizen okay. on the census. I cannot understand in what universe our leaders would not want to know who's a citizen and who's not. We actually ask whether you're a citizen or not in order to get a firearm in the state of California. Should we take the citizenship question off and make it easier for people to get firearms? An estimated $880 billion a year in federal tax dollars for schools and public services are distributed to local communities around the U.S. based off census data. Immigration advocates have filed lawsuits trying to block the citizenship question from being asked on the census, saying it will lead to cuts in federal funding for communities with a large number of immigrants. If many of them do not fill out the census, we could have a reality where places like New York City do not get their fair share of resources uh, for things like roads, for hospitals, and political representation. For Yatsiri Tovar, she isn't backing down. She says it's not about one question, but one more attack against immigrants from a hostile White House, one she is determined to fight. Gabriel Zondo, Al Jazeera, New York.